Hello everybody, good morning, happy Thursday. It's Melissa Nager here. And um, today we're gonna talk about um, something that some people might not know about, some people may know or heard of, and it's about failing forward um, and what that means and how you can better do that. And just I just wanna talk about it um, and see if anyone has questions about failing forward. Um, I'll give you guys a couple minutes. I'm on a little bit early. Um, hey, I'm at, I just noticed. <laughs> so I'm on a little bit early, just um, a little bit before 10. Um, it just worked out for me that way. I got jumped on early. Um, so I'm going to give it a couple minutes. Um, if you hop on, just paste in the comments or, or post in the comments where you're where you're coming in from, what city and state you're representing, so we can say hello and find out where everybody's from. Throw me some hearts and some likes, and pay no attention to my French bulldog in the background barking, because he does that. He can't stop himself. So let's talk about um, a failing forward. <clears throat> so basically, the whole idea um, with regard to failing forward is um, instead of trying to avoid making your mistakes and failing you need to actively seek opportunities where you can face the limits of your skills and uh, and knowledge so you can learn quickly um, you need to understand that feeling afraid or unprepared is a sign of being in a space for optimal growth and it's all the more reason to keep pressing forward um, oppositely, most unsuccessful people feel, when they feel unprepared or afraid, they interpret that as failure and they regard that as time to stop, regardless of their plans or their goals, and um, they wonder if they're doing the right thing, and they spend more time preparing and planning than doing active business activities. Um, so, when you think about failing forward, Something that you need to address is um, you need to ask yourself some questions like when was the last time you accomplished something that you were really proud of? Um, how did you feel before of that accomplishment? Um, was it comfortable? Did you have to get uncomfortable? Was it easy? Did you have to do things that pushed you behind your abilities, your current abilities? Did you make mistakes and mess up? Um, if you mo like most people, you're going to find that the answers to those questions are um, that in the times in your life when you grew and accomplished the most were also the times that were the most uncomfortable and were the hardest and you had to make a lot of mistakes and overcome the greatest obstacles. That's usually the way it works. Um, so what my recommendation is, is that you do um, fail forward badly and as fast as you can. <laughs> I know that sounds weird to some people because it's not your normal, typical advice. But when you um, ask accomplished people and successful people uh, what um, they've done, you know, what what accomplishments did you have to, I mean, what did you have to go through to get the accomplishment of this great brilliance and this awesome success? Um, the truth is that, that, that it's, it, or they arise and they become what they are out of hundreds of mistakes and failures. Um, you look at, um, you can look at examples. There's so many examples across the board as far as famous people. Um, a good example is Howard Schultz. He's the uh, creator of Starbucks. And if you don't know this already, uh, he when he first formed Starbucks, he had the idea of modeling the, his stores after like those little Italian coffee shops, which would be new for people in the U.S. Um, and it was a great idea, but um, you know, obviously today, uh, as a result of his starting point, Starbucks is nothing like those little Italian coffee shops. Uh, there was a lot of things wrong with his idea. Um, the baristas had to wear bow ties. Uh, they had Italian menus, things like that. Um, and the coffee shops that they're that are out there today um, are a result of lots of failures, experiments, adjustments, renovations, um, revisions. I mean, you name it. All those things had to take place in order for it to be the successful Starbucks that we know. Um, so basically, failing forward and doing it fast is the best way to learn fast. Um, it's it's been coined, um, failing forward was coined by the Silicon Valley entrepreneurs in the tech field. Um, and the idea is to push ahead with your product as soon as possible and gather feedback. Just do it, basically. Just do it is the, like, just do it. And um, it's to learn so that you can take the next steps. 
Um, and I mean, until you put the pro your product out there or whatever it is that you're putting out, you're never going to know what you're doing right and wrong until you put it out there and get those that feedback and make those failures turn into success. Um, hopefully that's making sense as I'm explaining it. Um, the mindset is, um, you know, your creative work is a process from going to like super sucky to like non sucky. <laughs> so, um, you know, you have to weed out, you, you put your ideas out there, you put yourself out there and you weed out the bad ideas as quickly as possible to get to the real work can start, which most people don't realize you're not, I mean, even though you're trying your best and you're doing your best, the real work's going to come after you have picked through and weeded out and figured out what's right, what's wrong, what's working, what's not working. And giving your permission, yourself permission to make a mess is really important. If you make a mess out of it, it's totally okay, and it actually means you're growing and it, you're coming up with more solutions. I know it doesn't always seem that way, but your life and what you make of it and your business is your ultimate creation. Um, there is a book too called Failing Forward. Um, I don't have, I was going to write down the stuff, but I don't, but you can look it up. It's a great, great, great book. Um, really great information in there. Um, you know, just, just if you want to read that, it kind of tells you, you know, more about failing forward and what it means. Um, I will guarantee you that anybody that is successful in your particular industry, um, especially it's, it's especially true in network marketing. Everyone will tell you that it's super important to fail forward. So don't think of your mistakes as um, complete setbacks. Don't think of them as, you know, you're not good at what you do and it's time to quit. You need to use those experiences to better your craft, to continuous, continuously get better at what you're doing. And the only way that you're going to know what's working, what's not working, what's a mistake and what's not a mistake and to perfect it and to keep perfecting your craft is to fail. Um, fail forward and my advice is fail forward as quickly, as badly as you possibly can to get better at your craft. So that is my advice on and my input on failing forward. If anyone would like to talk more about this um, and you, you know you need to understand the concept or you want information on the book, just because I don't have, I can't at the top of my mind think of the author. I've read way too many personal development books. Um, I can't pinpoint it right now and off the top of my mind, but feel free to reach out to me, to email me, um, comment here, um, or you can reach out to me through my blog, which is workingwithmelissa.com. And with that, I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys on Thursday. Have a fantastic day, and we're going to wrap up the week tomorrow on Friday. Um, it's going to be Friday. Friday is what I call Friday. So I will join you guys again tomorrow, same time, same place, and we'll have a new topic to discuss. So have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.